there's just been so much work to get to this point. Not just like the results, but even getting into Diamond League. So, like, I didn't even have an agent or have a brand that was wanting me in January. So like, you know, what might look like an overnight success is actually years of work behind the scenes, not just on the track, but also the political business side of hustling to get here. So I'm really proud. Well, on that, you put on your Instagram the other day that emails to meet director in Dortmund last year yeah. to, to go in. And you had a 406 yeah. PB. Now that now you've got a really great record. Yeah. It is quite a journey and like every step the goalposts have just changed and like I knew that it's really hard to run like good luck trying to run British records around British Miners clubs in the UK on these not big stadiums like they're they are great but to hit that next level you need to be in the right races the right people to push you um, and I knew that and so I knew that I'd be there'd be an improvement but I couldn't have dreamed of like how big the improvement has been so I'm just so happy but really lucky to be part of the team I'm on. When you first went up to be a prodigious junior but then obviously yeah. you know, came back, when you came back into school and you've now done what you've done, what yeah. kind of a plan shift like how that would have happened or like how that's gone? Yeah like I, you always get told obviously that like, you are kind of, your best years for being an athlete are like your young 20s so I thought that getting back into it later in life, it would be impossible to run faster, especially over like the shorter distances, like the 800. But now that I'm in it, I really don't think that's true. Like if you look at my event, Faith is 30, the top five British athletes in the 1500 meters at British Champs were 30 or older. And it actually is just like, you can still have these huge achievements when you get to that age. So it's really exciting. I'm just looking forward to next year, to be honest, because this is only our four months of being a pro. I'm technically on the break from work, so I'm just, yeah, really excited for the future. Have you, have you been able to process the Olympics so far? Yeah, I have finally now. It took a while. I've watched me race back a lot. Um, but yeah, no, I have. I think it has finally sunk in now. Yeah, and obviously I'm just moving in. And obviously with it sinking in, I mean, what's the overall emotion of that generated joy? Is it you can't believe it? Or? Yeah, it is like, on the one hand, I can't believe that I've done it. Like, it's such a huge achievement. And on the other hand, I feel like I've been running my whole life. Like, I did take a break, obviously, but like, it, running's just been such a huge part of my life since I was 10 years old. So I always hoped I would make it to the Olympics. So being able to do it, it kind of felt right to me. And obviously being 8 and 15, I mean, you managed to excel in, in both in more ways than yeah. How's that balance been for you? It's, I think it's really good. I think mentally it keeps it fresh. You know, I've done a lot of races this season. So like being able to switch between the two is mentally a good stimulus. But I also think it helps. Like we saw in the 15 in Paris, it gets decided in the last meter. Like you need to have a sprint finish, and I think 800 helps with that. Um, and then vice versa. I think doing 15 helps with the eight. So yeah, I think the more diverse of an athlete you can be, I think the better. And people like Mondo and Carson are proving that like you don't just fit into one box as an athlete. And just finally for me, like what have Trent and Jen, you, you know, like how significant have they been for you? And you mentioned four months. I mean, that's uh, extraordinary. I mean, yeah, I mean it's four months since I haven't been working. Oh, okay. Yeah, so not like four months. Oh, right, yeah. We've been working together the past like two years. I've been following their plan, but I only shut my laptop and stopped trying to do all the training for a ten-hour work day. And now full time being an athlete. Yeah, so that's made a huge difference, obviously, not having to do that. So, yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't be here without Trevor and Jenny. I think, you know, I'm an example of how their training works, but obviously what Keeney's doing shows it's working, what Ava Lloyd's doing, Sarah Healy. Like, there's so many people in the group that are achieving amazing things, and yeah, I wouldn't. If I couldn't be on their team, then I wouldn't want to be in track at all, honestly. Perfect. 